Hello, this is Terry with Fabric Junction, and today we're doing our last block in our series of 12 for a sampler called Grandmother's Choice. And as in the past, I have done some of the parts, but let's look at the quilt and the block and how beautiful it looks all finished. So we will get started on putting our block together. And as you can see, I have already separated out the different sections. So what I need to show you is actually how to put your corner together. And a couple little tricks that I do when I assemble a, um, a block of this kind with this many triangles. And the first one is, is I know this needs to match up with this and it's important that I know center. So I go to the ironing board and I just do a little press right there. It doesn't have to be long or hard, but enough that you can see it, that there's a little press. The other thing I need to know, and a lot of time I just judge it on my own. Once you've been sewing a, a quarter and seam allowance a long time, you just have a pretty good idea where it is. But for those of you that, that don't or are struggling, here's what you can do. is After you have pressed it, you know where your center mark is, take your ruler, line it up a quarter inch. Don't line it up too far because your pencil is going to make a mark and your pencil will make a fat mark. And so I don't want to be clear into my top. So what I do is I see my little press mark and I just draw a little pencil straight across there so I know that's where I want to um, join the big triangle to the other one once I have this one put together. So those are a couple things that I do to the larger one so I get my placement correct. So now I lay out my pieces exactly the way they go on. I actually turn them so that I'm looking at them in this fashion when I sew. And I start to the right and I like to sew from the 45 down. And you'll always have a dog ear just in the way we line up triangles with squares. So I start on one side. Sew it off. Lay it back down to make sure that yes, I want to create a triangle. You can press now if you'd like. A lot of times I don't, especially when I have a stack of them. I just use my hand and turn it down. Line up the corner and sew the other side. When you add two pieces like that, you'll notice that it does extend beyond. Well, that's your seam allowance, so that's okay. Now I do press, because I do need this to lay nice. I press it open. I cut away this extra. I don't need it. I cut here and across here. I don't need that. Now to line these two, I use a two pin method. Because I know I want to sew right where those two seams meet, I slip my pin right in that intersection. So it's right at that point. And then the mark that we made, I can line it up. I'll pull this back. I can line it up and I go right in and I know the center of the mark because of my little press and I put the two together. Now if one stands a little taller than the other, that's okay because the important thing is is you're at a quarter inch seam on this one and you're right at the crossroad of your seams here. So you can see I'm, I've got a little bit that wants to stick up. That's okay. Once I have them pushed together and the pin is straight up, I take a second pin, because I don't want that to shift, I pin right beside it and pull this one out. Now I line up 
the rest of the triangle. And so. And you don't want to pull those because you'll distort them. You are working on with bias cuts. Once I have it sewn, again I need to press. I want to press it to the less bulky. In this case, I want my seam allowance to head towards the purple. And I'm going to cut off my dog ears again. Eliminate some of the bulk when in the quilt and then I place it where I need within my design. Once I know my block is laid correctly then I start sewing together and I start at the top center fold to the left Part of it done, I double check and I'm still in the right. Now I, whoop, placing back where he belongs. Put my other section together. Double check that I have everything going the right way and now I'm ready to sew the other direction. I line up my seam and that's the one that I hold. Get there, I do my next one, line up the seam. Always remember if you're more comfortable pinning those sections, go ahead and pin them. That's okay. I tend to push the one in the back down and the one on the top up. Not always, but most of the time there's no real right or wrong. If you noticed, I just did that one the opposite way. we have our grandmother's choice put together. So I hope you keep watching. Next time we'll assemble our quilt and work on our borders. And do check out our quilting. This one was done by our staff in here at Fabric Junction. Check out our website at junctionfabric.com and thank you for watching.